afternoon garage. So today we're going to be doing something quite different. You know, I've been making videos about once a week on cars and that kind of thing. And I uh, figured I'd take you with me. I'm going to be going and getting a puppy. So I've uh, contacted an airline, found out everything I needed to do to make this happen. Puppy's in Iowa, so I have to make two stops and then fly down to uh, Texas or something like that and then come back up to Oregon. So it's going to be quite a long flight. I'm really not prepared for any of this because I don't really know what to expect. So if you've tried to find a puppy or a kitten in today's climate, it's definitely a shortage of those. You know, I drove by the Humane Society the other day and there was a line completely wrapped almost twice around the building. You know, you wait in line for quite a long time and you put your name on a waiting list and they call you or they don't, they approve you or they don't, and then they take your money and, well, you don't really have anything after that. So I figured I'd contact a breeder, get exactly what I wanted, fly over there, pick it up. So I feel that I'm prepared. I have a, a little bottle of water here, which I don't know if they'll let me take on the airplane. Body pad for Piddle. My itinerary and a blanket. So that's really all I'm going to leave with in this silly shirt that I'm going to wear. I'm going to take my uh, 360 camera and go through the airport terminals and film so you can see exactly what it looks like if you're trying to take a flight today. Not really fond of that mask either, so that means I'll probably have to be wearing a mask for, I don't know, maybe 16 hours or something like that, because anytime you're inside of an airport or anything like that, uh, they require a mask, and, and of course the social distancing has to happen also, you know, out in the airport terminal, but then when you get on the plane, they pack you all in together, so it's all pretty much the same thing that you did before. I got a plane to catch. Right here we are, we're gonna go pick up a puppy today. So, uh, what you want is a puppy. You definitely have to fly to another state to get something like that. So, it's really nice being on the road at uh, 3.34 in the morning. Doesn't look like there's anybody around. Short trip to the airport, get on an airplane, get the puppy. Okay, so my flight is at, oh, it's 5.30.
aircraft located in marked compartments. Doing good. Please contact with others as an effective way to reduce the spread of Please practice physical distancing where possible and remember, wearing a face covering and washing your hands frequently is the best way to reduce the spread. Safer travel starts here. Fly DSM. Alright, let's try to get through get through security, huh puppy? Okay, so we had to get a ticket for myself and a ticket for a puppy. So a ticket for a puppy was $125. And a state of Iowa Department of Agriculture and change of ownership. Easy. 
All right, that's what it takes to get a wiener dog across the United States. It's not cheap, it's not easy, but she's here. That's all that counts. Wow, that was a, certainly a journey. Um, well, there she is. She's everything I expected. Sure was interesting going through the airport. Uh, got a lot of good responses. I was able to hold the puppy on my lap for most of the time just because of the service people on the airplane allowed me to do that. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. This animal is supposed to be tucked underneath the seat in front of you at all times. But she's really happy and spunky and she's happy to be off the airplane. And she pottied one time, well maybe twice, but never in here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Next week we're going to be back on the cars again. And uh, I'll be working on the Firebird. Got lots of things to fix on that thing. Plan on selling it this spring, so we'll see how that goes. And for now, I'm going to go love my puppy.